Good afternoon. I'm Jim Spencer. I'm with the Bluefield West Virginia Economic Development Authority. And one of the things we try to do is provide training, information, and content that helps not only our business, our uh, entrepreneurs, and anybody that's, that's interested in expanding their business or even, like I said, with our food truck incubator, things like that. And today it's my privilege to introduce a friend that I recently met, Mr. Russ Jordan, who's with New River. Russ? Yeah. Thanks, Jim, for the opportunity to come and talk to you all about all the great things that are happening at New River Community Technical College. Not only do we uh, supply the nine service county areas that we have in Southern West Virginia, 60 degree uh, and certificate associate degree programs, but my office in particular does business development. And, uh, you know, you and I have shared some of the business, local businesses needs and some of the situations and issues that all businesses are facing, you know, employer retention. How do you deal with this workforce? It seems like the workforce is ever evolving and changing. So New River has created a position that I've taken over and my office goes around to local businesses in our nine counties to be able to ask them or provide them uh, some of our professors and our instructors and we'll come in and do either full day trainings, half day trainings, uh, they can be online, they can be in person, they can be a combination of either one. I work a lot with Workforce West Virginia. Uh, Donnie Pomeroy and his staff would be able to tie the employers to workforce uh, in the programs they offer because they can pay up sometimes up to 75% of these specialized trainings. That's pretty neat. And, and one thing that I'm listening to Russ talk is we're actually, today is a, uh, the first time that we've ever partnered on a class. And actually there's a, a uh, class going on with some of the folks wanting to start a food truck. Can you tell them more about that? Yeah, uh, we decided that, you know, the tourism and outdoor recreation and culinary arts is a high demand uh, field. And so we started a program. We wrote a grant for it and we got a grant and we hired a program director and he came on in January. And as you and I got to know each other a little bit better, Daniel Groves, we found out that one of his areas of culinary arts is the need to be able to start food trucks. And you guys had the food truck incubator program that we did some research on. We made some phone calls. That's usually, I, th I think that's probably the second meeting that you and I had. And we just talked about, are there ways that we could work together? So Daniel is down there at the Granada Theater uh, here in Bluefield uh, teaching, I think five uh, uh, students. And some of them came through your incubator program. Some of them came just from the area wanting to know more about what it would like, uh, look like to start a food truck for, uh, business. So, you know, like I said, we see a lot of collaborative uh, ventures that we can work with economic developments. Uh, we are partnering with Robert C. Burke Clinic in Greenbrier County. We're partnering with actually the Greenbrier Hotel and Resort doing some specialized trainings. So we can work with businesses as small as like Robert C. Burke Clinic has six people going through our training right now, uh, as much as the Greenberg has 1,800 employees. So that's the nice thing about what my office can do is that we can specialize the trainings based on whatever business that you have. We can offer IT and technical support. We can uh, offer Microsoft product trainings and Word or uh, QuickBook training or Excel trainings. We can get into our technical programs like our HVAC program, our welding program, our auto diesel program, and be able to find ways that we can help businesses to train their employees. And you know, that's one of the key things is, is talent acquisition. In today's society, whether you're coming out of high school or recreating, whatever it may be, you've got to have skills that uh, for a, a high demand position. And sometimes there's a gap. Yeah. You know, somebody's skill level is here and they need to be here. Yep. And knowing that, you know, uh, like New River can adjust quickly. Yep. Uh, with this this training class was put together very quick that uh, Daniel is, is doing today with the food trucks. But one of the things we always say, you could be the world's best chef. You could be the world's best plumber or whatever it may be if you're an entrepreneur. But if you don't have the basics of operating your business, cash flow, inventory management, uh, establishing the cost of goods sold and knowing how to price your items, you could fail. And there is a high failure rate. That's the reason that we're very interested in supporting our entrepreneurs. And New River does that as well. Matter of fact, part of that curriculum that Daniel's going to have is business planning and working through they have to have a business plan and things like that. So we're excited about that. Uh, at the end of this video, we'll have uh, Russ's contact information. 
Tell them about your campuses, where you're located. Well, we have five campuses uh, that we serve the nine counties in Southern West Virginia. And we have our Raleigh County campus. Uh, we have our Mercer County uh, campus that's in uh, Princeton. Raleigh County's in uh, Beaver, just up there by the airport. We have our Greenbrier campus is located in Lewisburg. And then we have a uh, Nichols County campus that's uh, located in Somersville. And then we have our technology center uh, that's located right there in Gent. So it's right on the border between Raleigh and uh, Mercer County. And, you know, one of the things that I guess what my office is trying to help is like, we can do these classes for credit. We can do them for non-credit. Um, the hopes is, is that maybe some of the people that whether, I'm glad you mentioned high school students, we have dual credit programs right now that are working with all the local high schools um, that there's really a, a real chance for high school students to be able to graduate with a high school diploma and have a two-year associate's degree that's basically paid for by the state of West Virginia. You know, um, and that's the other thing I was going to tell you, Jim, is that through West Virginia Invest uh, in these high demand career options, if uh, some students that are exposed to some of our classes or our training would want to go back to school, um, West Virginia Invest will pay for two years of tuition and uh, books as long as the student agrees to work in the state of West Virginia two years after they graduate. So, you know, there's some options for people uh, and that's what I'm all about. It's like, and I, that's what you and I share a similar vision for Southern West Virginia. We need to bring good quality jo jobs, but we've got to have the workforce that's ready to, to meet the demands of the employers that are coming to our area. Right. And I, I said earlier today in a meeting that the best thing that I can give someone in life is opportunity. Yeah. And whether it's an opportunity to do job, an opportunity to education, and that's the reason for this partnership is to help our industry and also the folks that are looking for employment and then also for the entrepreneurs. But uh, keep in mind, one campus you left out is your little portable <laughs> yeah. campus here in yeah. Bluefield. Yeah. Uh, so you're already not only had a food truck class today, right. but you also have a CNA program. Yeah, there's a CNA class that's going on six weeks. That's a, that was free to people. And, and like I said, we have mobile campuses. I was just talking about the ones that are in, in, in five locations, but we also have a one, one room schoolhouse that's all the way up in Pocahontas County. So, you know, we want to be a partner with, whether it's you all, uh, other economic development corporations. I serve on the board uh, at the Greater uh, Green Bar Chamber of Commerce. Uh, so I'm making some connections and inroads there. But we are here as these nine counties in uh, Southern West Virginia to help our people to be able to have good paying jobs that, that you know, that can stay here. Our CDL program only takes literally six weeks to go through and you can come out with a class A CDL license um, and workforce West Virginia, if you qualify, can help you pay for the course for that. You know, we just got three brand new simulators that are $80,000 each. And it's like driving a video game, driving a big rig um, and, and students are loving it. We've got a student that's graduating uh, this uh, Friday uh, from that program. Uh, we've got 60 students out of Raleigh County uh, that are getting pinned for their nursing pins. So there's just a lot of great things that are happening at New River. But like I said, we're here in my office is here in my department is to help businesses train their workforce. Because, you know, Jim, you and I were talking about it. it's an ever evolving workforce. Right. And, and, and retention is a big deal for the businesses I'm talking with. And so if you want a employee that will be a long term employee, invest in them invest in their training, invest in their education, because a more confident worker and employee is a long-term employee. So that's what we're trying to do is kind of help um, not just the individuals gain uh, talent and gain their education, but also help the businesses to be able to have a sustainable workforce. Well, I appreciate you coming today. We're in the Bluefield Small Business Success Center. We're in the third floor of the Bluefield Area Art Center located at 500 Bland Street. Stop by, there's things that we can do to help you. And then also, like I said, at the end, you will have Russ's contact information, so feel free to reach out to either one of us. Thanks for being yeah, here. Yeah, thanks for having me.